Hi everybody, it's Deb from Dandy Art Gallery. Today I have a 12 by 16 inch canvas and I've put down a very light bake base coat of the Rust-Oleum Metallic Accents Metallic White Pearl. There's that pretty color. And let's go over the balance of my paints here. I have DecoArt Vert, it's called, but it's the, I picked this up kind of by mistake. It's called the DecoArt Texture Paint, and we'll just see how this plays with the balance of my paints today. It's a very pretty color. It's a greenish, bluish green, I would call that, Vert. My next color is the DecoArt Metallics 24 Karat Gold. And my next color is Rust-Oleum Metallic Accents Real Pewter. The next color is Golden Iridescent Pearl Fine. Next color is Arteza Iridescent Acrylic Electric Pump Plum Purple. And my last color is the DecoArt Extreme Sheen Peridot. What I'm going to do today is just a dirty cup pour, but I'm going to be putting the, um, the golden iridescent pearl fine on top as an extra layer. I already have my cup ready to go. And as you can see, very, very um, pretty colors in there. But I wanted to talk about my pouring medium today. It is a new pouring medium I just purchased. It's the Amsterdam pouring medium. This is a little bit on the expensive side. Um, this container is 33.8 fluid ounces. And I want to say I spent about $35 on it. Now, having said that, I did not have to use that much in my little cups when mixing my paint. Matter of fact, I just put, oh, maybe a half an ounce, half of an ounce in the bottom of my cups. And then I put, oh, probably two parts of my paint in with that. And then I did thin it with water. So you don't have to use a lot of it. And I know Heather Mater from Heather Mater Art has used this pouring medium. And she says that um, the first pour she used with it, her painting turned out very nice and a very shiny um, coat on top. So I'm going to give this a try. And I will, again, um, post the dried results in a couple of videos from now so you can all see how it did turn out. You can get that pouring medium, the Amsterdam pouring medium, in a smaller container. And I think that's what Heather used, was a little bit smaller container for like $13 or something like that. She said, so check out her channel, um, Heather Made Her Art. So I put down, oh, no silicone added today. So I put down a little um, puddle here of my base coat. And let's just get started. I'm going to just... Pour my paints right on top of that little puddle here. That puddle is just to help the paints move. And that 24 karat gold is just beautiful in there. And I'm hoping that it, that it does surface here in this painting. And that's all I'm going to do is I'm just going to pour it as a dirty cup. I did put a little bit of the, um, the base coat white in with this pour, as you can see. And that, that cup looks very pretty. And now I'm just going to take this iridescent pearl fine from Golden. And I'm just going to put it over the top of this 
of this painting here, a little bit here and there. I'm almost going to do cupping and covering from Lamb of Heartfelt Artistry, but I did not use her pouring medium here today. Okay. And now I'm going to torch it, I think, before I get started with the tilting. That is one thing that I did discover with using the um, Amsterdam pouring medium. I mixed these paints up two days ago. And when I mixed them, they had a lot, a lot of air bubbles in them. So it's a good thing if you're going to purchase that pouring medium to mix your paints with, to uh, plan ahead. Mix your paints a day or two beforehand so they have time to sit and the air bubbles get t time to work themselves out or you'll be torching quite a bit. You can see I still did bring up quite a few air bubbles here. Okay, let's get to tipping and see what I have here. I have plenty of paint on this canvas. A lot of that gold did end up in the center, which uh, that's, I really am excited about that. Very pretty. The only color at this point I don't see coming up is that electric plum pearl. It got lost in there somewhere. See if it does come up, if it surfaces. And I can see that I have something in my paint. And when you see that, you want to take it out right away. Don't wait till the very end because it will have an impact on the composition of your painting in the end. So I'm just going to tip to this far corner now. And you can take your time tipping. You don't have to do it fast. You can try and think about the composition or what colors you'd like to try and save. And you can see a little bit of that um, purple com color coming through now, which is very pretty, right in this area. So it did make an appearance. And I'm going to cover this area down here. I'm just going to let it sit here a minute. And for that base coat, I did take just a little sponge and I sponged on my base coat. I did not want a thick base coat today because I knew I would have this layer of paint and then also a little bit of that white paint on top. Did not want my paint too thick. And now I will cover this corner. And my paint is moving slower now, which is good, which means I don't have a lot of extra paint on my canvas at this time. Okay, and I am going to bring this back into the center. And I'm going to take another look at it, check my corners. And this just turned out so beautiful. 
I was thinking about doing balloon balloon kisses and balloon rolls on it, but it, it's just turned out so beautiful that I, I really don't think I want to do anything more with this painting. I will torch it. And I think I will just tip a little bit more in this corner here. And bring it back down. Trying to allow you to see all this going on here. I'm just bringing my paint down to this far corner here, just stretching it out a little bit. Okay. And now I'm going to check my sides and my corners. And I am leaving it composition wise. This is how I would like it. This being the top, that being the bottom. And now let's torch it. You can see I'm still popping a lot of those bubbles and I am very curious to see how this dries with this Amsterdam pouring medium if it will dry with this nice sheen that it has now. Okay I'm just going to check my corners here and clean off the bottom. This is a very good type of a pour to do if you're a beginner. The paint, of course, has more control with this type of pour. It's going to go where it wants to go, but um, you have control when you're doing the tipping, so you, you do have some control over it. So now I will get you down for a close-up. You can tell me what you think. Okay, here we are for our close-up. This is the upper left-hand corner, and hopefully you can see a lot of this shimmer and this shine. Here is where that plum came through very lightly. I'm really happy that it did come through in this painting. I think it just added that extra bonus that this painting needed. And it's down here, the lower left-hand corner. Very shiny and shimmery here. Taking you up the middle, a lot of the 24 karat gold is here. And this is the upper right hand corner. A lot of the plum did come through here with the greens in the blue. Very pretty in here. You can see the shimmer of that 24 karat gold there. And this is the lower right hand corner. This is one of the areas that I like right in here too, right in the middle on the bottom. So let me know what you think of this video. If you like it, please give me a thumbs up and share it. Make sure you ring the bell, choose all. So you know the next time that I do post a new video. Subscribe if you haven't. That would be great. And until next time.
Take care, everybody. Bye for now.